good kitten and cat. Apologies for me being a little dark on stage. That didn't really change much of anything. Um, I'm rearranging things in the house, or prepping to rearrange things in the house. Crap all over the place. Uh, where we last left off? Oh, and above me is Mariel, for reference. Actually, from the Alter Code F concept art, I have three different pictures that I really like from her. I'm probably going to use all three, but this is the happiest looking. So I'd rather start with happiness after what happened last time. That was not a very good time. Um, we're down a party member. It's going to be a bit before we get Rudy back, actually. him. So, um, I was planning on doing another Let's Analyze, but it dawned on me that we have the entire party back to do. Mm. Yeah. Be a good idea. Yeah. Still done with donations. We need to go to Mariel. So we're going to do that. Um, it's probably the only time in the game I just go straight to plot because I want my party back. Ah, Jack. Alright. Need to go to Rosetta Town. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Why? I actually slept pretty well, but whatever. Back in business, because our problems here are over. The bad guys I haven't met my quota yet. And she is shy, but it's also because you've been picking on her. Rudy for a bit. I think in Alter Code F, Mariel joins your party again for a bit, but I don't know for sure. Mostly because, well, I'm like Alter Code F. Alright. of a life within metal body that you possess, Rudy. You get rid of your pain pretty easily. In metal? Oh, what do you know about that, Mary? Yeah, that's a mistrend. Um, that's a thousand-year-old sin. Metal that has consciousness. Oh, demons have machines for their bodies. The Elu and the humans. Ah. I started trying to play God. Very, very cute. He was actually asleep right before recording, but I had to stop and restart recording because I forgot to update the photo of Mariel. As for a small wound, I could do something about it with herbs. I'm really curious as to what in the world those herbs do if they're supposed to be able to repair metal. He's a lost one. Nowhere in Philgaia can you recreate life with people again. Maybe if it were a thousand years ago, but, uh... A thousand years ago in Philgaia? Do you remember that? Well, let's go to a temple. Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. But we need a gift in that form. Yep, and so I think this is the point where she would rejoin your party. enough to heal again. Fine. So I should um, redo luck. Yeah. 
going back to the Forest Temple. I'm going to go see their, um, uh, gift. Elu left Lugayan after the war with the people who normally live in the or the land is suitable for us. So we made our own. Yep, we're going to the land of the elves. Um so who's left our power to close the gates? You can still see the Thogaya that was in years ago. And this is a gate. Watch this thing even with a cannon! Keep this gate broke because of a thousand years of inactivity? That, that's not so great. It operates on an hour's heart and life energy. One moment. Let me go cut my own blood. The air will live on by bond. We bond the time in order to live in the Yep, so Elu are immortal. Um, I should mention, he is a character that's in multiple Wild Arms games. They don't mention her by name in Wild Arms 3, but that's because of a mistranslation. Um, the Japanese version of Wild Arms 3 just completely negates ever mentioning her name, and when they translated it, in the U.S., uh, Squeenix, who was actually the one that translated Wild Arms 3, they didn't realize the reference, so they just named her Florina. It's the same character. We bond to time, and we bond to the land you and by nature. Gladly give up everything to bond with those we believe in. Rudy saved my life in this forest. My turn to repay. So yeah, um, it's not actually a love triangle, it's a love quadrilateral. And she's just bleeding directly on the altar. No, the mound, the scene, and teleport. Welcome to the Elu dimension. Elu dimension's a replica of Gaia a thousand years ago. Uh, yeah, she's kind of badly hurt. <laughs> You know, you probably could have just dropped a couple of drops of blood. We need to treat her now! Yep. So now we have two injured members of the party. Um... What was I going to say? So, the Elo Dimension's actually where I got the idea. For those of you that may be, um, familiar with my role-playing universe, this is actually where I got the idea of Cecilia from. Um, not that, you know, there's a city in the Elo Dimension, just... Um... not working today. Um, just the whole dimension that's attached to other things because it's a lot harder to live on the land. So, a lot more green here. A lot more trees. In fact, this is probably one of the most tree-filled areas in Wild Arms. Any of the Wild Arms. Alright. About to hit radar to see if there was anything hidden in here. Get Rudy back. Uh, 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 uh. Humans have activated the gate. They are here. Came to ask for your help. The Elu want nothing to do with you, foolish human. Please leave. People wounded here. Who can cure them? Broken wound is an Elu girl. Please let us in. Is the child? There is no reason for us to. Oh, go back to your dying. Yeah. So they may not have left them. Not risk the exposing the gate to other humans. We will take you to the village. Master Fulkelly. Fulkinelli? So I'm seeing the root of Fulcrum there, but I don't know. We'll decide your fate. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Rudy. Apparently he's just saying no and yes constantly. 
the hell do you do? Uh, it, it's magic. Follow me, outsiders from the dying world. Miko? Another one of the characters that... I think Miko is actually the one that we renamed Jack, not Mariel. But both of them would have worked. Um, any of the Elu's names would have worked. If I remember correctly. So this basement looks very familiar. I think this is reused from somewhere else. Oh, I want to use more powers. Pretty some important part of the game. Or save the world. Battle with the demon. You trust us, who are more like demons than humans. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that statement. The Elu are definitely a lot more human-like than demon-like. Not that they're very human-like either. I mean, the Elu are the elves of Vilgaia, but they're more the type of elves that you hear about in Icelandic myth, not the type of elves that you get in Indian myth. So they play tricks on humans, they pay the heck back, they're bayish, so they don't quite have the same set of morals that humans do, shall we say? Gives us a high die. It just looks down. I don't have a choice. Rudy's too important. The whole world needs him. A thousand years ago, we created this machine to cut the demon. Golems are the absolute power. I want the power. You'll notice that Jack stops obsessing about power quite as much. Power without heart can be good or evil. The Elu and the human human mage singular have reached into the realm of the unknown and came up with a base this technology on demons. We used living metals and adapted it to human physiology. Artificial biometal was called I forgot to Google what that was actually. Um, it's a reference. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist makes the same reference, but I can't remember what it's actually called. Oh, homunculus. That's what it was. So that home cross is supposed to be homunculus. Called the homunculus. Artificial life that can survive under any condition. This homunculus is the ultimate enhancement. It synchronizes with different arms, thus enhancing the psychic power of the arm. But, homunculus enjoyed killing so much, they literally became a killing. Was it the blood of the demons? Was it man's con lust for By the way, the Wild Arms series has a lot of philosophical implications behind a lot of the things that they discuss, usually at the second half of the game. Um, yeah, usually the second half of the game. So, this is going to become the new normal. One knows for sure. The deployed homunculi, that should be a plural, were destroyed. There is, however, one homunculi left. An experimental model was sealed deep underground. Rudy isn't a killing. He has a bigger heart than anyone I know. He spent as a and gave them a for hard. For once, the scare quotes might actually be accurate there. That what you're saying? Rudy used to travel with an old man named called Geppet. By the way, now I can actually reveal that's a reference to Geppetto of Pinocchio fame. Geppet had a kind heart. It was he who kept Rudy from turning into a. Kept Rudy's heart pure. You're telling me after a thousand years, this man unleashed the experimental machine, but it's too late. We don't have the technology to give life to metals anymore. Those powers were lost to us long. Is there is nothing more we can do? It just starts crying. In play, Ariel, you must rest. Nope. Just. Guardian Blade has a life of its own. At its power, 
Go to Brother Fasim. Use the Guardian Blade on Rudy. The world are you saying? The Guardian Blade. Weird. Not before it took Oak Iowa. Oh, we're going to craft a nuclear weapon Rudy. Oh, the sand ocean starts from Rosetta and cuts across the land. That was the result of the trained and unrefined guardian blade. Muriel stayed there alone, pay for her brother's sin. He is working to turn the sand ocean back to. We can't afford to make the same mistake again. If we do nothing, then that is what Sogaya will be. Nothing. We run now, we will live like wings for the I want to lose the bond between myself and the people who taught me to be strong. <sighs> Basim lives in the forest to the southwest. There, he can live without being exposed to us. The only one who can possibly repair the arm. What? Chris all. Take me with you. I want to share some of what I've learned with him. You still want us to make the Guardian Blade? It's going to take a miracle. We've lost much of our technology. To the evil sword. Miracles only have value if you can do it yourself. It is absolutely true. I quite understand that phrasing. Bad translation again, maybe? I mean, Wild Arms 1 and 2 have some pretty atrocious translations. I've actually never understood. But, you know. Miracles don't occur either. If it could be done, it would be done by a human. And if Logaya is a human. Yep. There is one Guardian Philgaia who is human. True. Hold on. Our wishes will make you well again. Alright. We'll end up radaring everything later. Oh, and we're going to need to make extensive use of wands. Monsters in the fort. Safer if we stay in the fort. That noise. By the way, this is the save point here. It's a three toed sloth. Durable. Now uh, we're only at 18 minutes. Okay. Adorable as it is. Hope you're enjoying Sleepy Kitty Time. I should try to record these more often during Sleepy Kitty Time. Because it's actually a predictable time of day. Travelers, did you come to a place called Fogaya in our fables? Yep, it's been so long. Get back here. Ugh. Life Guardian is in the forest prison. I don't know why, though. Look at the things you don't like. Don't look at the things you don't want to do. How we live. What do you think? Um, that's kind of weird. So yeah, if you can't tell from the picture, um, from, of Mariel, uh, they have floppy dog ears. Uh, it's a reference to a Japanese mythological race. Life Guardian is still a prisoner inside the forest prison. That's why you kind of see them flapping around on their shoulders. It's not that everybody has pigtails, like I initially thought. It's that they have dog ears. Yeah, going without radar again is annoying. I guess I gotta miss the apple. That probably means there's the other apples here as well. It must be destiny that the ancient treasures of the guy are finally being used. Remember. Power without heart. Evil. Horse prison. It's a prison for monsters built by the Elu to trap the monsters who infiltrated the Elu's world. 
They go in, but they don't come out. Not all the prisoners are monsters, though. The Guardian of Life is also trapped there. Please, release the Guardian of Life. I don't understand why the Guardian of Life is trapped, but it is. And we have the spirit key now. Outsiders, what do you want from the world of the Elu? Power? What do you want with power? You can use the teleportation device to travel to any area of Filgaia. Occasional accidents do occur, and sometimes you'll end up in some scary place. During normal operations, though, it works perfectly fine. But if you give it any more impact, your risks increase. This is the hint that you can actually teleport to an extra location from the Elu um, temple, or pyramids. This is a change. Humans are visiting our village. Oh, pretty nice, outside with people in it. The scariest place in the world is the Abyss. They keep all the monsters. So scared of that place, I don't even know the location. There is an Abyss in almost all of the Wild Arms games. It's the super secret uh, dungeon, basically. The air and the water in this place is the same as it was a thousand years ago. Don't things have changed in such a long period of time? You could say that there are no monsters in the Yellow world. We sealed them inside a place far from here, located to the southwest. So yeah, um, the Elu are basically stagnated. Admittedly, the village is kind of beautiful compared to everybody else. Basim has turned Vilgaia into a wasteland. The sinner had to be locked up beyond the fort. He didn't do it in town. Before. This is Tarjong, Elu tribe. This isn't the place. You? I haven't seen anything that wasn't an Elwu. Blue ribbon. That's really is. And that's about it. Again, we'll do a finer comb through the place with radar later. And yeah, you'll notice that there's no shops anywhere. It's the only place we get to hear this track, by the way. It's also the only place in the game with no random encounters. So yeah, this is what the Illu Dimension looks like. So, weird thing about this map. You can only go to that area in the top right hand corner, as in this area over here. The rest of this map does not seem to exist. So, I'm wondering what would happen if I, say, used some type of chip. And just walked around for a bit. So there's the forest prison. And this is Tarjan. So, the forest prison does have random encounters. Back to normal again. And any encounters that we do in here will unfortunately mean that Rudy won't gain the XP. So, I personally tend to try to minimize this a bit. I swear the mu the battle music sounds ever so slightly off here. Like if it's more echoey. You can definitely hear like the drum snare at the end go off a little bit long. Anyway, um up. Matchers have heat salt. Don't care. It's definitely slightly off. It's kind of like, um, oh, mute. Great, let's silence them. Cool.
Oh yeah, I forgot we actually have something that we need to work up on. Uh, I'll forget it. Uh, so yeah, music is slightly different here, which is kind of cool. do decent damage. Yeah. So, I seem to remember that also happening on console, which, by the way, console update. Um, I have a friend's PS1 borrowed, but unfortunately I still haven't received the adapter that I need to go from the Frankmeister to Euroskart. Uh, that's still in the mail. It should arrive any time now. And I also now have an actual PS1 on its way. I'll show you how to get through these mazes. Just go left or right all the way out. Simple enough? Again, I'm not looking at a walkthrough or anything. I'll face. Yet another giant turkey. I'll face. They have very useful things. I'm going to be stealing from them. They don't even hit that hard. Totally good try. Because they have full revives. That is right. You can actually get full revives here. Ow! Might need. Attack. Trick store! That should help with the um, issues with. Now they're going to target Cecilia. Yep. Sir. God. It's still up. I don't think it's. I don't know how many hit points it has, though. Yep, it's dead. That lucky shot's gonna be wasted. Mm. Yeah, it does so little damage. Okay, um, Trickster. Sure. Let's heal up a little. Yeah, it's always hard to steal the useful thing. go left or right. I'm going right and continuing to go right. For possible. Cry fed. There's so many weird enemies in here. I mean, I know they're all pallet swaps, but it's more, I think these are the only areas in the game you can find these particular types of things. Okay, there it is. Like, is it not on the list? We can go back to trying to get that. Yeah, I'm going to just um, make an assumption and say it's fire. Oh, it worked! Sweet! Magnum Fang's been learned. Dang, Magnum Fang does a lot of damage. Have high shield. Good for you. Shield does not help you against fire, though. Yep, I was correct in my Alright, so Magnum Fang is going to be the um, skill that I'm going to try to drop as much as I can. I'm 
pretty sure I've just gone in a loop. I'm just paying more attention now. Okay. Um, rather than having you go through this constantly, I'm going to actually... A Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Yep. Black Sabbath. Uh, you don't have anything useful. Uh, take a wild guess and say Saint. Ass, that's for sure. for a bit. I'm being a little quiet again, I'm sorry. Bear hog! equip it, but, um, this video will jump off of there, so I definitely came from the wrong way. Fresh crap? Fresh coat. No, no, they're the ones that do. Got it. Alright. Fortunately, sleepy kitties make me sleep. It'd be really nice if I can actually give myself elemental resistance without just having to equip fire rings. Just move Trickster to be the first one. Heal yourself, Cecilia. You can now heal more than a thousand. If you're, doing it. you're dead, but you. Nope, you're not dead. Oh, you actually can't heal over a thousand. I thought you had 200 sorcery. Huh. That's not. Double flame time down. Okay. Great. Cool. Potion berry. Get everybody back up to milk. Still no steel yet. Going to 
analyze so I know how many hit points I have. Oh, maybe I can Lucky Shot instead. Because Lucky Shot will also give me a full revive. Nice. Got that going. Four. Okay, you are in Lucky Shot range. Got it. I would rather Lucky Shot, because that's a guaranteed hit. Even if it's a crap ton more spell points. You should do enough damage with Lucky Shot. Yep. Which means it'll now drop a full revive. Yay, Lucky Shot. Um, if you, I wanted to do it without the crap ton of spell point cost, I would have needed to have completed... Uh, Uh, Saint Hunter. Mystic Bone does that. End of Strike. I don't care about it. Really. I blast. Apparently the Huggy Bear is the one that I should have been more concerned about. Oh well. So I think the way this game is working is um whatchamacallit? Uh Say, that. I've completely lost it. Oh well. They drop potion berries, so it's easy enough. Okay, that's a crest graph. The I reverse where I was from. Walk back two areas and then take the path going north. The question as to whether high shield actually affects critical hits, and the answer is no. You know. North. And this is another crest graph. That's not. Uh, these instructions are terrible. Yes, I know I'm going in a circle. Let me try past this. Past this. Through the next two areas. Oh, 
Uh, no, that wasn't. I don't remember. Secondary. There's the chest. Has another crest graph. And jump off the wooden ledge. What wooden ledge? Nothing else to this area. That's where we need to go. I don't remember how I did this when I first played it, because I can't use a guide or anything. Ledge. There wasn't a wooden ledge. Warrior vest. I believe that's for Rudy. just found that there um, I just found so that item it was the warrior vest warrior vest is okay on this map that's there okay Down round Actually pretty injured, didn't even notice. I Spending all of my MP actually going to use magic character too. Uh oh, and also potion berry attack. I don't want to go down yet. I want to keep going to the right. I can go up, which brings four, which loops around to everything else. Um, I do want to go up. I'm gonna go down. Right. Go back down. They're fine. I'm down. Oh, I already got that. Whoops. 
I hear that too. Bird chirp. Fixer. Down these stairs to the left first. First thing I'm gonna do is go around to the chest here in the save point. Now I don't need the map. Oy. that I've spent half an hour wandering around this forest. And this is not a point of no return, by the way. You can return here pretty much any time at this point of the game. In fact, there's not really too many points of no return in left in the game. Right. I have no control at this point for reference. Then it opens up a new path, then goes off to the right. Do I have control yet? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, wanted to use up at least one of the Mystic Apples. Yeah, she's not quite at 200. That's why. Yeah, because if I had the secret book equipped, or Elder Scroll equipped, yeah, she'd be close to 300, sir. Ooh. Honestly, at the moment, Elder Scroll's probably better. Really, I should have equipped her with the bonus item. Trickster. Fire to kill them faster. I should do a lot more damage, yeah. Trickster. Very leveled up, though. I don't remember if there's a boss here or not. There is. I am Odoryuk, Guardian of Light. Is it one from Philgaia, at least? I'll cast a light upon your dwindling faith! So, uh, maybe Cecilia's having some issues with faith? I don't know. Also, isn't this. Either in eternity or morality. Mortality, not morality, Clifter. The powers are never absolute. My power is shaman, for I am the guardian of life. Hi, friend. I think I get a full heal from that. Yeah. Okay. At this point, if I go down, I effectively reach the X. Oh. 
trickster on the correct one. Get into a flame more over on the right. Uh, oh, I actually got the floor revive that time. Nice. Okay. That's the exit. Now we're all the way down there. I really want to know what the Overland map is like in between. We use so little of the map. Also, this kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger with the bridges across the sky from the floating island. But yeah, no, um, my role-playing, main role-playing thingy, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, in the campaign setting is a city called Sincilia. Um, I took the concept of, hey, look, a bunch of Elu, or elves in Sicilia's case, or Sincilia's case. That's, um, he don't want to be here anymore. Let's teleport and leave. The main difference is that they did it to avoid ecological collapse. Now, this isn't a very happy place. Hey, we're at 52 minutes. We can get through this. So, technically, we can actually equip the Guardian of Life now, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to save. We lose the Guardian of Life when we're done with this sequence. And the Guardian of Life is actually a really nice one. Um, it gives bonuses to all sorts of things. Yeah, it's Strength and Vitality. Which is really nice, but um, you lose it really fast. Watch. I'll equip it on Jack. Because I can. Duplicator. Asim! Mariel, what are you doing here? Asim, Rudy's in trouble. Calm down, Mariel. Breathe. Breathe. Now tell me everything in a flashback. I can't believe it. Looking at a forbidden homunculus. He needs metal. This left living metal to heal his left arm. Please, use the guardian blade one last time. No! You want me to crack the ground in half again? I can't take part in the creation of another weapon for destruction. The guardian blade is a blade of doom. What about a weapon. I need to pound out some life force with those hands. Ah. Um. Bad wording, Muriel. Only you can save Rudy. Only you can make metal come to life. Fix Rudy with technology that produced the Guardian Blade. You've become strong. Or should I say your love has become strong? Dun dun dun. Rudy shared the strength of his heart with me. Rudy can change the future of mankind. Make the Guardian Blade to save Rudy. Not possible to repair the arm. But we're missing two ingredients. Or it is possible, sorry. Uh, we're missing two ingredients for the operation, though. Reclaim his left hand, we need the Life Force Guardian. Regulate its powers, we need the Illusion Guardian. With both of these in place, we can finally apply the Guardian Blade to it. Mary and I, Mariel and I will prep him for operation. Use warriors, gather the two party guardians of power. Yeah. Uh, yep. The illusion ones in Damla Metallica back at Kieran Abbey. Uh, yeah. You are our last hope. We'll get your arm fixed up. Hang in there. No one's worried about you. We'll be back soon now. Yeah. Mariel also heals us. All I could do is fully heal you. Yep. I forgot about the illusion of guardian being required as well. Alright. What's down here? It's a forge and shadowy light. Okay. 
Yeah, let's get the illusion for game. Let's finish this up all in one shot. I don't put my in. So yeah, Cecilia can't actually teleport here to the whopping three things that are actually in this area. Um, there's nothing else here. Even though there should be. That's why I want to know what else is supposed to be here. It's kind of like the, they didn't um, finish this. The only section of the game that I can think of that kind of feels unfinished. And maybe they just ran out of space. Maybe they ran out of time. I don't know, but I really want to know what else is here. Yeah, we don't have to spill blood constantly to teleport. Who would have thunk? Alright, let's teleport back to here and Abby. Go through that again. see anything good to sharpen the mind yeah you said the same thing is it our hamburger friend there's a famine all over phil gaia what is going on stay a while stay a while and listen Wait, wrong game all right de la metallica time Saying, what in the world are you doing? Yes, there's stuff everywhere. That's why I don't want you up there, cat. As you knock over everything. You can sit there, but you need to be calm, okay? I'm trying to run a role-playing game. If I run a role-playing game, I mean play a video game. Whatever. Probably should have just cast him. Actually, gonna get hit by a book? No. Oh, hey, look, I gained two more mage staves. Alright. Entitled De La Metallica. Do you want to read it? Yes. They just turn by themselves until it reaches a section on forbidden magic. Your consciousness wanes. You begin to hear a voice from afar. A second teleporty place in the first one. Welcome to De La Metallica. This place is creepy. Because you get teleported around rather than the dungeon moving. Or, the dungeon's moving around rather than you. And there are enemies in here too. Maybe I should have stopped. Oh well, too late. Ah, uh, De La Metallica, how long is this? Let me double check that really fast. Just in case. Metallica is yeah we're going to stop here and then I'm going to stop and start I know this isn't at the end of a save it's close enough to one um I'll talk to you in a few moments internet bye internet